Welcome to the Natural Health Podcast, where we bring awareness of sustainable health in the business hustle space. The Natural Health Podcast is perfect for the high-performing business individuals who want to work with their biochemistry to achieve optimal health. And it is Tuesday, which means it's top product discussion. Let's get straight into it. I don't know about you, but I never really used to like going food shopping. Now I absolutely love it. But what used to happen to me is I would go food shopping, I would get some bananas, put it in a plastic bag, I would get some apples, put them in a plastic bag, I would get some grapes, they already are in a plastic bag, put them in my trolley, I would get some broccoli, put it all in a plastic bag, get more plastic bags and more because I love broccoli, (laughs) get some kiwis, get all those things, put them in a bag and then I'll come home and what will happen is I'll take them out of the plastic bag, put them in my little fruit bowl or put it in the fridge you know and then i would end up with all of these plastic bags and they would just be all over the counter and then i look at it and i go "Ooh, what do i do with this and then i grab them all and put them all in a drawer that's filled with plastic bags already and then try and close the door or try and close the drawer as much as i can but it's like packed right that used to be my shopping experience until I found out that there's this thing called a plastic island. I don't know if you've heard of it, but there is a plastic island near Hawaii. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it and you will see it. When I Googled it and I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I am contributing to this island. Like I'm making my own island. And it's not a good thing. It was actually a bad thing. I nearly got into tears and started crying. But the thing is, is I didn't know I was contributing to this daily until I sat down and I realized. And just put just put a picture in your head. It's an island that's filled with plastic. So all of this plastic from all around the world, and it's just there, there. Like all this plastic, it just made this island. So the thing is, is 10% of the hundred million tons of plastic produced yearly worldwide end up in the sea and that's and that's pretty sad that's actually very sad um animals are impacted by this our environment is impacted by this we are impacted by this and we are responsible for this and i didn't want to be responsible anymore I didn't want to be responsible for this anymore and I wanted to change things. So now every time I go to shopping, I don't use those plastics bags. What I used to do is not use bags at all and then I'll just end up like, oh my gosh, I can't carry it all. There's like apples falling everywhere, bananas falling, broccoli falling everywhere. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, what do I do? I need something that I can put my veggies in and come home and then reuse it, which would be the best thing and for it not to be made out of plastic, right? The thing is, is what I've decided to use is these recyclable vegetable fruit bags. They're eco-friendly vegetable bags. They're absolutely amazing. I love them because when you think about it, the issue is not just with plastic. The issue is how it is made. There's so many chemicals produced making the plastic. And then it just ends up in an island that you know we can't even go on holiday on it's just it's just bad for the environment so plastic bag production costs about four billion dollars per year which is a hefty sum for something which is going to pollute the environment when you think about so reusable produce bags on the other hand the ones that i'm talking about are made up from other cotton or even sometimes sometimes they even use recycled material which is amazing and these bags are recyclable right and they don't even produce the such vast number of chemicals and waste as plastics bags do right and the production cost is even lower than that So there you have it, like the benefits of these bags are less plastic waste in the environment, less money for cleaning it all up, less toxicity in your house, and it also keeps your food fresh, which is amazing. So I've got about 10 of these bags, and I have them, I have put some potatoes in it. So what I do is I put my potatoes in it, and straight away I put the potatoes in the bag where it goes. It's amazing, and it's reusable, and I know I'm not 
contributing as much as I used to to this plastic island. So the product review, the product discussion today is about these vegetable fruit reusable bags. Where you can find them, um, I got mine from one of those local shops. I'm not too sure what it's called. Just I just found it at one of the shops and I thought, oh, I'll just go get it again. There was only, I think it was only four dollars for about three bags which is absolutely amazing i'm sure you can find some online get your hands on some and please reduce like how amazing would it be to, to reduce your footprint your carbon footprint on the earth your plastic footprint on earth and i mean what would you want to contribute to an island that you can't even holiday on right <laughs> so get yourself these amazing reusable bags and let's help out the environment until next Tuesday, love you.